Today we're going to look at puzzle number 93 from Sudoku to Go, volume 143. And we're going to watch for hidden patterns. We'll find a couple of hidden patterns in this puzzle and I'll point them out as I go. I want to point them out because if you watch for hidden patterns, they can help you find numbers. You can read about uh, patterns and techniques at sudokuprimer.com and there's lots of other Sudoku, inf Sudoku information out there too. Today I'm, today I'm also going to try something different. I've had a few of you mention that my hand gets in the way of the puzzle sometimes and so I'm going to use a pointer instead to see if that helps. Now this may be a little awkward because I haven't done it before and I'm used to using my hand and my pen the whole time but uh, we'll see how it goes. Please let me know via the comments what you think and if you have other thoughts or suggestions or if you have questions for me please you can also leave a comment also. Alright right at the beginning we have a 3 and a 4 in this column and a 3 and a 4 in this row so these are 3-4 twins and along with these 3-4 twins along with the 1 and 8 here make a hidden corner pattern and with a hidden corner pattern uh, we know five of the nine numbers here let's see what's missing one two three four see what <laughs> I'm so used to using the pen to point so uh, gotta get used to this one two three four Five, six, seven, and nine. Five, six, seven, and nine are are missing. So that means if there's if one of those numbers, five, six, seven, or nine, are here in this column outside of this box, you'd know that the, it'd have to go in one of these two cells. And if there's a five, six, seven, or nine along here, you'd know that it had has to go in one of these two cells because of this corner pattern right here. So there's a, one example of a hidden pattern. We'll find another one here in a bit. There's a 4 here and a 4 here, so that's a 4. And we've got a 6 and a 6, so that's a 6 right there. And now we have a loner cell right here. And we've got a 1. The 1 is not in this box yet, and so it's got to go right there in the loner cell position. All right, and now we've got a one here, one here, and a four here, and four here. So these are one four twins that we can solve. All right. So okay. Now let's see. We've got a three here, a three here, and so that's a three. And we're only missing 8 and 9 here. We'll keep those in mind. Alright, now we've got a 6 and 7 already in these two boxes. So we have 6, 7 twins right here. With those 6, 7 twins, we know the 9 can't go there. So the 9 has to go here or here. So in box 3, the 9 has to go here or here. And we've already got a 9 here, so we can fill in that 9. Right there. Alright. Um, let's look at this row right here and see what we're missing. 1, 2, 3, 7, 9. 3, 7, and 9. So 7, 9, 3, 7, 9. There's a 7 and a 9 there, so that's a 3. Alright, and with that 3, we can put a 3 in right there. And if you remember, these are our 3, 4 twins, so I can put in a 4. And with that 4, with that four there, we can put a 4 right there. And now we've got another um, set of twins right here. We've got a three here, three here, four here, four here. So we have three, four twins right here. 
we can't solve them right now, but with these twins and this seven, we have a wall pattern. And with this wall pattern, we can find another number. We've got a six here. So a six can't fit here because of the three, four twins in this wall. So we know that the six has to go here or here. So this is a six right there. And uh, with this three, four, four twins there, we've got another interesting situation here. We've got a three here, three here. So one of these is a three. We've got a four here and a four here. So one of these has to be a four. And since these are three, four twins, and one of these has to be a four, neither of these can be a three because of unique rectangles. And so this has to be a three right there. And then with this three, we've got a three here and a three here, so we can put a three right there. And now with that three, we can solve the three, four twins that we found. And we can put a four right there. Let's look at column 8 here. Let's see what we're missing here. Oh, we got a 6 and a 6 there, so that's a 6. And uh, what are we missing now? 5, 7, and 8. Missing 5, 7, and 8 here. There's a 7 there. That's a 5 or an 8. There's a 7 there. That's a 5 or an 8. That makes that a 7. And once we place this 6 here, we have 6, 7 twins here. So we can solve those. If you remember the 6, 7 twins we had there. All right. Now we're missing 7 and 9 in this row, which we can solve because of that 7. And we have eight, nine twins there, so we know that's a nine. Okay. This is a bit awkward for me, but I'm hopefully going to get used to it, and I hope it helps using a pointer instead of my, my hand. Let's see. We got a six here and a six here, so we know that's a six right there. And uh, with that six there, six, we know that's a six. All right, now we're missing. Uh, Let's see, we're missing a 2 and a 7. These are 5 and 8, because they're the only two numbers left in this row. So these are 2 and 7, and we can solve them because of that 7 right there. And uh, now let's look at, let's see, we can put a, we can solve the 5 and 7 here with that 7. And then let's look at um, box one. We're missing two and nine here and five and eight there. So we've got, let's see, you got a two there. So nine and two. And we're missing five and eight now. But we've got a five here, so we have ghost fives there. So that's a five. And then Eight, and with this 9, we can solve the 8 and 9 we have here. 
All right, now we're making some good progress on this puzzle. All right, let's see. Got a nine here, a nine there, so that's a nine right there. And that makes that a nine. All right, now we've got a only number missing here is a five. Now let's look at, uh, oh, used my pen again. <laughs> uh, let's look at this row right here. We're missing two and eight. We've got an eight there, so we can put a two here and an eight there, and that solves uh, box seven. Box seven is done. All right. And then, uh, let's see, in box eight, we're missing... 2, 5, 8. 2, 5, and 8. There's a 2 and an 8. That's a 5. And we've got a 2 there. So that's an 8. And that's a 2. And now we can solve our 5 and 8 there. Because of that 8. And we have a 2 and a 5 missing there. we got a 5 there. So we can finish those. And uh, we're missing one five and eight here. Let's see five. Hmm. Let's see eight. And eight here, eight here. So that's an eight. Kind of had to solve it a little different. I couldn't quite solve that yet. Five. And that is a an eight and a one. And then we've got one and five there. So we can finish that one. All right. Well, I hope that helped a little bit. Um, keeping my hand off the puzzle. Please let me know what, what you think, like I said. And a uh, couple things to point out here. We found the three, four twins here, which created that wall pattern, which helped us find that six. Then we found these unique rectangles here, which helped us place that three right there, which helped us quite a bit. And we found the a hidden corner pattern here, it didn't help us right at the beginning, but I wanted to point it out because uh, anytime you find a hidden pattern, it um, may help you find other numbers. Here with these three, four twins and this seven, we had a hidden wall pattern, which helped us find that six. So, Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I hope that helped, like I said. Well, I'll see you, see you again next week.